Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, you can all see your plans. How because you have a traitor in your a thousand castle. smaller houses He's been that sending were affected a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. And that's where we were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. The that's from. enough, Andros. And they say they're a lord or lady of the king. That's just some shit story for little kids. It's all these smaller stories I've that heard come stories. together. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. So Cotter might know where the North Grove is. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a She's mistake in one trusting of you. Handmaidens. You actually see her in the fight with Cersei. That Cersei's. isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Scary an option? Because he was scary. Can't let my uncle on fire. Are you going to be a good little forester? Learn your lesson and stay down? You can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Everyone tries to call the Boltons. It's hilarious. And you can't. I never you did can't tell you about story. your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. So let's find out what's going on with Daenerys. No, I want to know what's going on with Daenerys. Oh, we're back on the wall. All right, John. This guy came after me. What's Jon Snow going to say about it? Oh, we're dealing with Frostfinger. I'm coughed? That's rough. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now... You've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. He wasn't sworn in. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Out with it. What happened? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... That's impossible. <clears throat> Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. 
There's a price to be paid for that. to kill me? Let's go. Is anybody else freaking out here? I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now, out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett, you told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were him. smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. John, I swear I honored my vows. Brit wanted to fight, and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man. So keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Are you kidding me? Go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. No, I need to see if... I stabbed him instead of hitting his hand. You'd have done it too. It was bad. The only horrible thing about watching the backstory is you wind up, you see so much of this intrigue that you actually wind up being like really sympathetic with the Lannisters and how they're actually trying to protect their own. And they make such great bad guys that it's rough to see all the civil unrest and just like know that that's like them stamping down is really honestly them holding on to the throne. So I wound up like liking her character more and it's traumatic. <laughs> So we gotta see if we can get out of the clink and go over the wall. Because I am finding the North Road. Like, this is my mission. It's my favorite fan theory. Okay, so this is now we're in Daenerys' camp. It sucks because there's like three different storylines going on. I mean, that's kind of normal, but... Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Don't lose them. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Yeah, that's the scary part. Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course. A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Azure. Would you pet a dragon? Hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Doesn't like him. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. 
Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Groba, how did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him at all. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? With your permission, I want to hire a contingent of the Second Sons. I need them to help me fight for my family back in Westeros. The Second Sons? Has your reason failed you? Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne, that's what I want to. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. Croft? It's tempting. But it's not what happens. You may leave. <laughs> That's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. She's awesome. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. You got tortured. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Alright, so apparently we're fighting for her now. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marie. What the hell was that? What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Beska, get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Okay, well, we're gonna go storm Marine, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut here. Um, I'm Engine Ghost, is what to play next. Hit the subscribe time, button so and get bucket. more. Um, get more backstory. This is I awesome. Spent two so, years like I said, drop us a like and subscribe. Much love.